In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to tune up your slow computer to go faster. First of all, we will have to clean up all the temporary files. And the way to do that is a very cool program. So go to your web browser. We're going to go to a website called Major Geeks. Hold on. I have a pop up here. MajorGeeks.com. AVG is trying to do an add on, enable. Okay. <clears throat> the name of this program is going to be called Cleanup. And it's going to be the first one here. Click to download. Download from author's site. Run. I agree to the terms and conditions. Next. Start. Uh, we don't have to review the README, just run installed application. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to clean up the temporary files so that that'll really speed up your computer and this is the first step. So click on clean up. It appears for the first time you have run cleanup. Would you like to run it in demonstration mode? No. Detected one or more browsers running. Make sure you close your browser and it'll start cleaning all your temporary files. Not only is it going to make your computer faster, but it's going to free up some space on your hard drive, which is a plus plus. So as you see, it already freed up 260 megabits and counting. We'll wait for this to be done. After this is done, the next thing we are going to do is clear the startup files and programs, which I will show you how to do in a bit. After this tune-up, your computer is going to be running as fast as when you first got it. Look at that. So cleanup just saved 697 megabits of disk space. That is amazing. That is amazing. It's going to ask you to donate for now. Let's hit no. You can donate later if you would like. Okay, so let's close the program. Now it's going to ask us if we want to log off now. Not now. We'll we'll do it later. We still got to do more stuff. Now, I am running a couple programs. <clears throat> you might be running way more than me right here. And that is what's slowing down your computer. So the next thing to do is click on start. Type in right here in the search box MS config and click on this one here. MS config it's going to pop up with the system configuration window. Let's go to the startup tab. And if you notice, all these programs are starting when you turn on your computer. So we don't want that one. Don't want that one. The only ones you should keep is your anti spyware and your antivirus. Uh, we don't want that one. Don't want Java. V protection. That might be from my antivirus, but I'm not really sure. I'll check it out anyway. So the only ones that should be checked is. Your anti, your super, I have super anti spyware, spybot, and AVG. If uh, you have not gotten any antivirus programs yet, I recommend you viewing my my antivirus and anti spyware installation video. But these are the only ones you should be running. Okay, so uncheck all of them except these three. Okay, next thing, and you got to be very careful here. Make sure you follow my instruction click to click next tab services click check down here where it says hide all Microsoft services okay now you can see the services running on your computer here's super anti spyware we want that one security center that might I think that's spybot search and destroy as BSD so we want that one V toolbar update that's a toolbar you don't really want a toolbar of any kind AVG and AVG. So it looks my service list is doesn't look very long. Yours can be very long. So the only ones you want to be running again are your anti spyware and your antivirus. That's it. All right. So let's double check. That looks good. That looks good. Hit apply. Hit OK. And now let's hit restart. 
Once you hit restart and it restarts your computer, you will notice that your computer is way faster than before. And also, what I recommend is doing an as doing a, a spyware and an antivirus scan. Also, you do you do what we just did now, and you also do a scan. Then you're really going to be rocking. Your computer will be pretty fast. Okay, and that's it. That 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 concludes this tutorial on how to tune up your machine. And uh, hope this helped you a lot. And have a good day.